Okay, so I'm going to do a quick review here of this pipe expander that I got off of eBay. I've been doing some fabrication, so I wanted an expander, and this is pretty much my take of it. Um, of course, it wasn't expensive. It was like 500 bucks, and um, uh, I had some problems with the tool originally. There was some issues with the threading, and I got it taken care of, and here is what I wanted to show you. I mean, um, he, these are two pipes here. Uh, the one is a kind of a cheap uh, exhaust pipe that I had laying around. I don't even know where I got it. And there's a thicker pipe over here. Um, so I measured them. The um, the thinner one is uh, about 45 thousandths and the uh, thicker one is 65 thousandths. So, um, just to give you an idea, when I get this set up, this tool, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. So this isn't a tutorial how to use it. I'm just testing it. Okay, so the tool is in place. Um, the ram is in the pipe. Uh, it's connected. Um, and you're ready to go. You pretty much pump it. And it pulls the, the um, threading out on the ram. And that kind of pulls this section out here, which expands the pipe. So... Here's a 45 thousandths pipe, and you can kind of hear like the clicking of the pump. The pump clicks real fast when it's uh, when it's doing its job. So here we go. Alright, so I really don't want to break this pipe, but um, most uh, when you're doing when you're doing these expansions, what you're going to do is you're going to take the ram out. Um, you know, okay, naturally I got cut off. Um, but just to give you an idea, on the 45 thousandths pipe, when you release the pressure on the ram, the ram kind of pulls out and that loosens it up. So what you would do is, uh, I found out through this pipe, is basically kind of give it a couple taps on the edge and uh, she'll come right out. Now you could see how long the ram has expanded because there really wasn't any um, limit in a sense to what was going to do to point uh, 45 thousandths of an inch pipe. Um, so I'm going to take the ram out and then I'll cut into the next pipe. Okay so while my compressor is filling up uh, I wanted to make it accurate, air for air. Um, this is the original pipe. I hope you can hear me with that noise. Okay, it just stopped. So we know we are, we're at like 160 pounds. Um, using direct air because I tried to um, to do it with um, a, 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 a adjusted the air uh, with a regulator at like 130, I think it said, and it, um, it really didn't do that well. So. Um, this is this is pretty pretty good on the 045 now um, Like I told you before the pump starts pumping Real slow when it kind of meet meet its end and it, now it's now it's in the 065 pipe and I'll start pumping and, and, and listen for the pump because this is what it's going to tell you about the tool Bending. Okay, so I don't want really, to really go any further because I can hear that that's pretty much it at the end. And how you tell that, as you tell what's happening is you release the pressure on the pump. I'm going to do now. And now you could see that gap because what happened was the ram didn't pull back all the way because it wasn't strong enough to pull back. On a, I think I, I had a cut on that. Um, so that's as far as it goes. Now, this, this may or may not um, interfere in 
uh, the type of pipe work you're doing. I don't know. Um, I bought the tool under the impression that it was going to do um, basically up to, I just assume like 60, 70, uh, 70 thousandths or whatever because I, I don't, I'm not an expert on pipe. I looked it up online and it said that a lot of factory pipe and higher quality pipe was in the 60 thousandths of an inch. I don't know really. So let me make it just a, uh, a cut now to try to set this up. Just wanted to see if I can get this on camera because like I'm by myself but um, you kind of have to tap it a little. And if you see it's it's loosening up and, and that's pretty much how I've you know not not have you know you don't want to bend it but that's pretty much how I how I how I get it to to come out I don't want it to fall apart there it is so to come out of the um, of the pipe So I don't know if you can really catch this on camera, um, but there is obviously a much bigger uh, expansion on the thinner pipe than there is uh, on the thicker one. Um, I did some research online and uh, I can't find anything that says anything about the different kinds of metal, uh, whether they're harder or not. I know stainless steel is a very hard metal. Uh, I don't know if the manufacturers of stainless steel pipe uh, for exhaust system make them very thin. I really don't know. I'm sure they're harder. So I really don't know how this will work with uh, stainless steel pipe. But um, <clears throat> and I think as a pipe expander on its own, um, it's work. it works. It, it expands pipe, but I guess it's limited to what kind of pipe that you use. Now, one of the things I'm really impressed about in this thing is, is the way the hydraulics hooks up, which, which might be standard. I don't really have any other ramps, but this thing kind of threads on, and it's like a push valve, and it doesn't leak, which I love. I can't stand leaks, uh, pretty much so. Um, and uh, you take it off, and you, you kind of cap it with that cap, and you can keep it nice, and, and that, that's pretty much it. Um, so, I mean, you have to decide on what, what you're using it for, you know, uh, a, a heavy pipe expander, a professional grade on like one of those muffler machines or whatever. Um, they cost a fortune. So this tool wasn't that expensive. Uh, I just like the, for people to know what they're buying and, you know, b based on what you're going to use it for. Otherwise, if you use it for... Um, a thicker pipe or or some kind of project that you're doing in fabrication that thicker this thing may not expand it and um, I just figured so that nobody would be wasting money uh, depending on what they're doing so um, will it expand pipe definitely um, does a pretty good job but will it uh, do any application you need um, the guy I bought it off of um, I mean, it wasn't his fault. I don't think he totally tested the, the equipment out on different grades of metal. Uh, I don't think it was him who did the original review, but uh, this is what I ran into. So uh, I figured, um, you know, uh, the next guy that comes along, I watch videos before I buy tools if I'd never used it before or it's not a brand name or whatever. So that's how I get my information. So I figured that's what I do here. And uh that's a wrap. I hope it helps.